my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate you on topics regarding your pet's health. So salmonella is a type of bacteria that you and I are often familiar with due to its relation to food poisoning in humans but this bacteria can impact our canine friends as well. Salmonella in dogs will typically impact the intestinal system in dogs, so you can typically expect GI symptoms ranging from diarrhea to vomiting to anorexia and things of that nature. Salmonella infections are not as common in dogs as they are in humans for a couple different reasons. The first one is the fact that the dog's digestive tract is much shorter than ours, and part of the reason that salmonella infections can be so serious in humans is due to the fact that since our digestive tract is so long, this gives the bacteria plenty of time to replicate before it exits our system. So because the dog's digestive tract is much shorter, this means the bacteria have a much shorter time period to replicate and wreak havoc. The pH of a dog's stomach acid is also much lower than stomach acid in humans, and some experts believe that this may create an environment in which the bacteria does not thrive in dogs. So while salmonella infections are not as common in dogs, they can still happen. And when they do occur, it is typically in dogs that are compromised in any way. Could be young dogs due to the fact that their digestive tract is not as mature. This could be elderly dogs, um, just because they typically tend to be more immunocompromised. This can also be dogs with underlying illnesses, especially if they are related to their digestive system. And this can also be dogs that are undergoing any type of stress. This could be something as simple as being at a boarding facility. So all of these scenarios make a dog more susceptible to falling victim to salmonella infections. Some of the most common symptoms of a salmonella infection in dogs include vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia, bloody diarrhea, and even a fever. But it is important to note that just like any other type of infection in dogs, cases will vary in severity. So some dogs can struggle with a severe infection of salmonella, and if this is the case, they may also experience severe diarrhea, weight loss, swollen lymph nodes, a change in heart rate, and they can even experience sepsis, which is a life-threatening infection that enters the bloodstream. So while this is certainly rare, it is something to be aware of, especially if your dog with a salmonella infection is compromised in any way. For more information on salmonella infections in dogs, be sure to refer to the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.